we really, really, really focus on, like everybody does, I guess, pre-snap reads by the quarterback and post-snap reads by the quarterback, but we focus on pre-snap reads by our receivers. Our receivers are never, if we just have an out route, are never going to run a five-yard out or a ten-yard out. They're never going to run a ten-yard post. They're not going to do those kinds of things. They're always going to adjust their routes. They've got to make their reads. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. In this particular play, uh, we know that we're re our quarterback's reading him. And so our, our receiver knows where he's got to stop. He looks the next linebacker in, and he knows where he's got to curl and run that. We're running out uh, with him, and we're just reading him. He's going to make a quick decision. If he steps in, he's throwing the out. If he steps out, he throws it to him. Nice and easy. So our, our, both, our receiver, both our receivers had to make a read and know exactly where the next guy was outside. Because we've got a rule, and you'll see it later on a slide. Our quarterback takes care of one guy, his read. Our receivers take care of the other guy. We would never want this receiver to just know we're reading him and to keep running and run into coverage. So he can stop. If this guy drops back, he's got all that underneath. If that guy stays right there, he knows he's got a smaller window. So he makes a pre-snap read when he walks up, just like the quarterback does. Um, this is the same exact play I wanted to show you a few times to, sh to just show you how it changes against different alignments and things like that. Here's our read on this play. He's running an out. He's running, uh, uh, we call it a little crossing stop. We don't throw it in the middle of the tunnel on straight crossing routes unless we can see both shoulders of the receiver. We're reading this guy, so he knows I've got to get out, but he knows he's got to see if he drops deep, he can run his route a little deeper. If he's playing short, he can hook his up right there. He's watching, uh, the quarterback again's watching him. This receiver knows I'm curling in. I can run all the way across if he drops or if he runs out or I may have to settle in that spot. So pre-snaps reads by receivers is extremely important. We have another rule for our quarterbacks. We say patient on the linebackers, quick on the safeties. Patient on the linebackers, quick on the safeties. Sometimes these guys will give you false reads. We should have enough time to throw these underneath routes. It's not as important protection-wise, so we'll, uh, uh, we'll be patient on those guys. Now on the safeties, we make quick reads. As soon as you make a read, you throw the football. So again, if he steps, if he steps in, we'll throw it out. If he steps out, we'll throw it in. This play here, he steps in. Quarterback, turn, throw the ball out, easy yards. We've got the same play over here. I've showed you the two previous slides. That was the exact same play. And then uh, another thing we'll do, after we run a play, we'll, we'll run a certain play if they're giving it to us. We'll run it until we feel like we don't have it anymore. But if we feel like they're trying to take it away with something else, like if we feel like their linebackers aren't, they start cheating that safety up out of this formation, think they found something, then uh, we'll tag a route, okay? So we'll run, for us, this play's called Pro Set. This is Pro Set Left, it's our Pro Set, although you'd look at it and think it's a little, little funny to be called Pro Set. And we call it stick, we call our protection with it, but uh, it's the same thing. He's running a little out, he's running here, we're reading the outside linebacker who happens to be lined in. Our pre-snap read would be thinking he's gonna run out. I notice the safety creeping up, and so we run stick and run a stop and go with our Y. So he's going to make it look like he's running the route. He normally runs out of that. And then he's going to run deep. So as the play goes, you'll see there he starts to go in like he always does. Safety comes up. We run past him. So we run the same play, but then you can tag a route out of that. And that's just if teams see stuff. Team, teams get good at seeing what you're doing out of a certain formation, maybe they found a tendency, then you can also always tag something to take advantage of that and uh, it'll make you a little less predictable right there.